Cervical cancer, thankfully, is actually a fairly uncommon disease. In the United States last year, there was about 11,000 cases. And a lot of this can be attributed to the use of the pap smears. Women who are generally well screened with pap smears tend to have their disease caught before it turns into cervical cancer. However, we do treat a wide variety of women with cervical dysplasia, which is cervical precancer. And as we've gotten better with pap smears, we've been catching precancers, and precancers certainly can be treated with robotic surgery as well. And so we do more treatment of precancer than we do of actually cervical cancer. There are certainly fertility sparing options that are now available. As we have seen, a, unfortunately, a somewhat growing incidence of younger women with cancers, and that's probably associated with a change in HPV or the human papillomavirus. As HPV vaccination c continues to become more common, we've noticed a recent uh, change in the types of cervical cancer people are having. And we are seeing more of them in women of a young age, which obviously, as we talked about, the cervix is important for childbearing. In someone who wants to preserve the cervix, the uterus and the cervix can be separated. And for young women who are facing the diagnosis of cervical cancer, at least now we have robotic surgical approaches where we, we didn't really have these previously.